Well, Happy New Year. Colonel Stu Helgeson, President of Valley Forge Military Academy, and I'm, I wanted to give you our first update for the 2023 year. I'm filming today from the May H. Baker Memorial Library, which many of you probably recognize from your time here at Valley Forge. Such a beautiful building, such great character and history here. Well, 2023 started out with a new college and academy plebe class. Great set of young people entering their plebe week. The academy and college will be going through their plebe training separately, but they will combine together after they meet all their standards in their crucible and become cadets, we hope, sometime within this semester. Speaking of some of the changes, our academy plebe class brought in 19 new kids. Now, some of you are gonna say, well, that doesn't sound like a lot, but one of the changes is the standards we've been using here at Valley Forge, which have been implemented in the last year. To put it in point, we brought in 19, but there were 15 people denied entrance to Valley Forge because they did not meet the standard. We only afforded those we feel who are gonna make the best cadets in for our mid-year class. And we're really excited about the talent we have that has come on in. And the second great piece of news I'd like to share with everyone is I was able to attend the ribbon cutting and opening ceremony of our partner school, Valley Forge Academy Guitar. As many of you who've been following, we started this project back in 2019 and it was outstanding to see what has been accomplished and to see the finished product, to be there as they opened up the K through sixth grade, which is the first year goal, which they've met, led by Dr. Paul Lee, who many of you know was our Dean of the Academy here. He's continuing the Valley Forge history and tradition there as we grow the next generation of Qatari leaders under the cornerstones that we all know and love. It was attended by the Deputy Ambassador of the United States, the Education Minister of Qatar, and many other dignitaries as they are very excited to have the Valley Forge brand there. Closer to home, our cadets, both in the college and the academy, were able to take part in some great Martin Luther King service projects. Our college, led by Professor Sean Chambers, was able to take part in working at a food bank down in Philadelphia, where they were able to make meals for the homeless and for veterans and help distribute. It was very gratifying for our college cadets. They also, a group of them went to a church and cleaned it, and they were so thankful to have the support of the Valley Forge College Cadets on those projects. The Academy sent their service club into Philadelphia to Girard College, which is a high school, and they took part in a joint venture where they went out and did service and completed service projects in the city of Philadelphia. I'm so proud of what our cadets do, the five cornerstones, the character development that our staff teaches to them and shows them, but more importantly, they execute, makes you feel proud to be associated with such a fine institution. Well, I'd like to give some other updates on happenings here this semester. The academy basketball team ended the school year right before break and they came back early to compete and they're doing that well on the court. They continue to grind it out and play a full schedule, both varsity and JV. Also happy to announce that after a three-year hiatus because of COVID, we were able to a field of varsity swimming team this year. We've got cadets who are very excited and they're out there competing under the leadership of our chemistry teacher, Tim Oskin, who's also the swim coach. He has the cadets in the pool training, getting better each day, and they're doing fabulous. We also, under the guidance of Harry Sokol, he's leading the high Q team in academic contest against other schools. They had their first one last week after they got back, and it's just been great to see them out there competing. We also have a great esports team led by Zach Stauffenberg, who is a TAC, but also the esports coach. We were able to send two cadets to the national playoffs last year, and we look forward to them competing this spring against other schools nationwide. As you recall, after Giving Tuesday, the generosity of Cherry Hill Volvo donated a Volvo for us to use at the school. At the end of December, we were offered another Volvo that is going to be used by the health center because the health center transports cadets to appointments, orthodontists, et cetera. Between their generosity and the $72,000 that was raised by all of you, we were able to purchase this van that will transport our cadets and take them to events, whether it be sporting, color guard, 
you name it. We're able to take remaining funds and purchase this UTV. As you know, of all the walkways here, we do not have a plowing function. We have cadets that shovel, but we've always needed a plowing function. We've been renting things over the years, and now we have this beautiful vehicle that will support our facilities department as we go through the year. Last October, I was able to show you the completed apartments, and I showed this walkway and an old decrepit I wouldn't even call it fence, posts that were up on the side and said that we were gonna be redoing the walkway and redoing the fence. And I'm happy to say that it was completed just this past week. Thanks to the generous donation of Dr. Bill Martosha, who gave us the funds to do this great project. It is really a finishing piece to a great job of building a quad and a college part of the campus living area that now ties all in. We've now had the same fence that the rest of the academy has and the uniformity, curb appeal, everything has just been absolutely fabulous. All these things happened because of you and what you have done to help support this Corps of Cadets, this staff, and this school. And we really wanna thank you for it. We've had a tremendous year. We wanna keep pushing on towards the finish line, have a great spring semester for both our academy and college cadets and really look forward to next month when we come with some more updates on happenings here at The Forge. And until then, stay safe.